Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today we're going to go over how to create a master USB bootable flash drive. Uh, the application that I'm going to be using is Win Setup from USB, which I'm actually going to place the link at the bottom of the description so you guys can get yourself a copy. And I have a bunch of ISOs that I'm going to be installing into this one flash drive. And I'm going to be setting up Win 7 Pro. Uh, a Windows Server 2012 64-bit and Ubuntu 14.04 uh, into one flash drive, which is awesome. Now, the bigger the flash drive you get, the more uh, operating systems that you can actually install into. So we are going to install the application. The application, when you download it, it comes as a 7-zip file, which is executable. And when you extract it, uh, depending on where you drop it, it's going to create a Win Setup from USB folder. Let's double click on that. And this is the file right here. I am actually going to plug this guy into the computer. Awesome. Now I tested this stuff out before I started doing the video for you guys and this is the flash drive that I use but most likely I'm going to reformat it and we're going to do it again. So we're going to close that up and we are going to open up the 64-bit. Depending on what operating system you have this uh, utility installed on, make sure that you pick the right one. So if you're using a 32-bit operating system, make sure you pick the 32-bit executable file if you're using a 64-bit use a 64-bit okay you gonna close that up so this is the application first thing that you want to do is make sure that the application reads your flash drive now it's the my flash drive is the D drive so we're gonna to go to the computer and the D drive is right there and we're going to do a auto format and we're gonna leave it as a 32 uh, format and I like to use the show logs because it tells me what's going on and the next thing that you need to do is advanced options and within advanced options it allows you to customize the menu the name it only works for particular operating systems such as Vista 7, 8 and server sources so we're going to click on that and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, hook up our Windows 7 one so let's click on the little three dots and I'm going to go inside the desktop and the desktop with the ISO and we're going to pick the Win 7 and we're going to open that up. Once that's done, we're going to hit go. And it tells you a warning. All the data is going to be partitioned and reformatted. Do you want to continue? We're going to hit yes on that. And it's going to tell you what's going to happen. And we're going to hit yes to continue. So it's going to reformat the flash drive. And it's going to partition it for you. And it's going to store your first ISO. Now this process takes a little longer. Now once the process is done, I'm going to show you guys how to add additional ISOs. Okay, now you get this. It says enter custom window setup folder. Now, I'm going to leave it as the default as NT6 set. And we're going to hit OK. And it says please enter a custom Windows setup boot menu name. And I'm going to do Windows 7 Pro. And we're going to hit OK. And then from there, it's it's good to go. Go grab a cup of coffee because this process takes a while. And then once this is done, I'm going to show you guys how to add an additional one. And then we're going to take our flash drive and we're going to boot into it. Okay, so our Windows 7 Pro is done already. So that's awesome. You're going to get this nice little dial box saying that it's job done. We're going to press OK. When you click OK, it's going to reformat itself or you know reset itself. And the auto format is going to disappear. The custom menu is going to disappear. Now, if you want to add another ISO, don't click auto format, okay? Because it's going to reformat the flash drive and you're going to lose the previous ISO that you installed. So, what we're going to do is click on Windows because I want to install the Windows Server one. Click on Open. And again, because this is a Windows operating system, I am going to use the custom menu and we are going to click OK. We're going to get this. Uh, we can leave it as the default, so I'm going to just change it. It's really up to you how you want to change it. So I'm going to do CVR 2012 and click OK. And we're going to do Windows 2012 R2 64 and hit OK. And it's going to continue. 
So I'm going to leave you be. And uh, we're going to do one last one. Actually, I'm going to do one last one behind the scenes. And once that's done, I'm going to show you guys how it looks live. And I'm going to take the flash drive, boot it into another machine. And I'm going to show you how that looks. All right, guys. So our master USB bootable flash drive is done. Uh, behind the scenes, I actually used uh, the Ubuntu. So I installed that. So I have three operating systems. I have uh, Windows 7 Pro, Windows Server 2012 R2, and uh, Ubuntu 14.0. I'm going to insert it into this machine right here on the side. I'm going to hit the start button. All right, so we're gonna click on F12 to boot into the flash drive. And you're gonna get the boot menu right here. And one of the options should say USB. If you don't see that, most likely you have to go inside your BIOS and enable it. So I already have it enabled within my BIOS. This is the one USB storage device. I'm gonna hit enter and uh, it's going to launch it and these are the three these are the three operating systems that we have it says to use the arrow keys to highlight press enter or b to boot or press e to edit the commands before booting or c for a command line uh, let's boot into the windows 7 one so i'm going to hit enter and here it goes cool awesome so this is for the windows 7 pro uh, the Windows Server 2012 R2. So that's pretty interesting. Like the boot menu of the flash drive, you have to pick the first one to get into the Windows part. And the last one was the Ubuntu one. So if I go back, let's go back. This one right here will allow me to get into the Ubuntu operating system. And this one is the second part. Uh, this actually, it just continues the setup. So this one doesn't really do anything. This one right here actually gives you the Windows operating system part, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to hit enter on that. It's going to start loading the Windows Server 2012 R2 files. And now I'm able to install the operating system with no problem. Now, I like this because I'm able to use one flash drive, install as many operating systems into that flash drive, and then just carry one of them. But there's a catch. You got to make sure that your flash drive is big enough. I have 16 gigs, so I can only fit maybe three or four of them, which is not that bad. If you get a bigger one, maybe 32, you could probably have maybe five or six operating systems on one master flash drive, which is pretty awesome. And as you can see, I am booting into the Windows server and I'm able to install it with no problem. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of how to create a master USB flash drive bootable and again I'm gonna leave all the links at the bottom so you guys can get a copy of that uh, that utility and uh, don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one peace out